most people are two paydays away from being homeless. That's, I have seen this over and over and over. The unexpected happens. You have an accident. You have an accident and you can't work and you lose your job and then you lose your insurance so you can't even take care of your medical bills. And before you know it, you're behind on your bills, you're behind on your rent, and your house is being foreclosed on. I, I've seen this over and over. Please, if you're thinking about walking in September, make this our last year, but make it our best year. Think about the people you're walking for. Think about the people who really need the help and make this our biggest year ever. People, you know, like myself, uh, it's, it's really good that I can participate. Uh, one thing I liked about one year, and probably most years, was uh, that the people from our church that, that were involved in the, in the walk were from every generation, from, I think, uh, Kyle Smith was less than one when he had, did his first walk, and we had people in, we had, you know, teenagers, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and even 70s that did it on that particular year when, when our church had 18 to 20 uh, participants. What drew me to it was the fact that Hack was giving the local people an opportunity that didn't cost them anything but to really show support and show uh, in a very real way that there was an absolute need to provide housing for folks, particularly the little ones, um, who through no fault of their own, just through circumstances, were forced out of their homes or forced into the street. And it could have been me or anybody that was close to me. My mother and my father, um, they were always the ones who found ways to help. Um, and I think because it was very easy for them to recognize um, when people were in really tough stuff and had been put there by life, not by choice. You know, we hear a lot about that people choose to be homeless. Um, I don't think anybody chooses it. It's, they may not choose to be part um, of a settlement house or something, but I don't think anybody chooses to be without a place to live. People um, make a statement by gathering together just to do this. When you show up at uh, Angel House, or even drive by and you see the banners and you see the kids and you see the dogs and you see the people who either rollerblade or, or bicycle or walk or jog pushing a baby carriage or pulling a wagon and uh, of every age, you know, it takes no great talent to do this. But it's in seeing these folks come together, all for a common reason. It's just a walk or a run or a jaunt or a jog, depending on who you are. And they're having a good time doing it. And while they're doing it, they're doing so much. And their involvement, even when they come back pooped, it's fun. And um, it, it probably does more to show that doing a good thing it may make you tired, but it isn't going to kill you. And it can mean so much. And it's that public expression um, just by being there that not only raises awareness, I mean, because how can that many people be involved in something that isn't going to be beneficial to someone? There's not a selfish thing in there. And you don't get anything out of it other than the fact that you pooped and you feel good. And that's both at the same time. You did something for someone else. Um, and it's hard for me to think that this is the last year they're going to do it. Any blister you raise 
will last only a very short while, but the feeling that you'll get from doing it will last you a lifetime and can help to change someone else's life. In particular, this, this walk um, that's coming up in September is critical to raise funds for um, housing, homeless prevention, housing, um, and I know HAT does a remarkable uh, service in providing um, folks with the opportunity to learn how to become a homeowner, um, how to be a good tenant, um, how to work with your utility companies and um, keep those utilities on and be um, also a good parent and a good member of the community. In other words, building a solid base, but that all starts with good solid housing and that's um, a very difficult um, commodity to come by for people who are low income, working poor, for no income, and in these times particularly, folks who are experiencing perhaps for the first time in their lives um, loss of income uh, due to the uh, economic stressors we're all experiencing. So HAC stands at the ready. Um, I know um, as a representative of the faith community that um, the churches and the synagogues and the mosques across the Cape stand ready to support this effort because it does help their neighbors from Provincetown to Falmouth. I think it's one of the most enjoyable um, and rewarding and beneficial ways to spend a day. You're out in the fresh air, um, you're with your friends and colleagues, and at the same time you're doing a wonderful thing for an organization that helps so many people. It's a great opportunity uh, for people on the Cape to uh, come together and support a very important event in the life of Cape Cod. My name is Carolyn Nelson and I have done the walk for at least about 16 years and I look forward to it every year. I'm hoping I can do it for this year too, seeing it as the last one. I walk because, well I like to walk is one thing, but also I, um, I really support HACK. I believe they do a tremendous job and I volunteer for them in many ways, but I really, and I like the people they help and I just want to support them all I can. I think to encourage other people to participate, I would tell them it's well organized. I would tell them it's usually a nice day and people are very friendly and it's just a lot of fun. And if you get tired, you can sit down for a while or hop on a bus and <laughs> that comes around and pick up people who have blisters on their feet or something like that. It's, um, I just think it's a, a great community effort and uh, I love doing it.